your writing is, is to understand that you have to understand your genre conventions. Now, genre conventions is on a whole nother level, right? Because when you're writing, you want to be able to understand what your genre conventions are. The act of including story ingredients that will be utilized in narrative writing. These ingredients will include, but not will include, but are not are limited to your settings, your moods, sounds, real or exaggerated characters, your style, your tone, your plot. And the thing about genre conventions, each one of those, each one of these have their own conventions. You know, like science fiction, we know it's gonna deal with some type of science. We know it's gonna deal with some type of scientist. We know that there's going to be some type of change, whether it be physical or technology or what, what have you. We know that war films is gonna deal with some type of gun or some type of weapon. We know that, um, those film, that film is going to be about two groups of individuals who don't see eye to eye. Uh, they may be in different colors. Uh, you may have green on one side and blue on the other side. You know that it's going to be over some type of territory. Um, so each one of the crime films, you know that a crime has to be committed. It's going to have to be someone who's have to save the day to solve the problem. We know these things already. But when you start combining crime and Western, then that's where it gets kind of tricky. When you combine a crime, a musical crime film, that's where you have to sing. You know, there's going to be some songs. There's going to be uh, the crime genre conventions and the musical conventions have to combine. It's a marriage. Now, in this, I want you to understand that it is very important that these last two words on here, uh, well, these is three words. It's your moods, your style, and your tone. That's what really helps your genre convention more than anything. When you look at a film like Little Shop of Horrors, and that is a, uh, it's a, it's a horror film and a musical. But then on the flip side of that, you see a movie that's kind of like, um, it has a horror appeal to it, but it's really not horror at all. It's kind of like comedy, like uh, it's kind of like a dramedy in its own little way, and that's Edward Scissorhands. So it has the appeal, the tone of it. It has the appeal or the tone of something, but it's entirely different. 